What's up, guys? This is John Hammond, continuing on the Natus War game from Over the Wire. Uh, just got the password for Natus Level 4, so we've got that going in our script. Let's actually print out the content of the web page as we connect to it. Uh, make sure we update the path or the folder, the file that we're actually retrieving. Um, and we want to just go ahead and get the page. Let's set the syntax to uh, HTML so we get that nice color coding in Sublime Text. And the content of the, this web page says access disallowed. You're visiting from empty string. Well, authorized users should only come from uh, HTTP NATUS 5 at natus.labs at overthewire.org. Okay, so, well, what do we, what do we need to do here? Um, I am curious how it's determining where we are visiting from, and I think it has something to do with HTTP headers. So HTTP headers are carried with every single request that you end up passing to the server, um, and typically they can come with a, a get or a post, or any other HTTP verb or what you're trying to do. So come on, some of the common ones are like X forwarded for or accept the kind of file that you're looking for. Even it'll, it'll carry the cookies with you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and you can continue through these, etc., and e examine some of them. But they are like a dictionary value and key pair of uh, of things that you're giving to the web server. So headers can have specific values. And one of the most common ones that we'll see, uh, at least when we're making a request with uh, a get request or a get verb that we're doing, at least in Python and through our web browser, is with the refer or um, HTTP header. And that's, I think, what they're examining to see where we are coming from. Um, this from one up here typically contains an internet email address. Um, Host says the domain name of the server. Uh, that's actually really crucial for virtual hosting and virtual host routing. Um, you'll see that a ton in a lot of hack the box, um, vulnerable machines and other uh, practice you may do with that hack the box training platform. Um, but refer is what I think what we're going to be checking out right now. User agents is all about your browser and maybe we'll get into some of that in uh, a later level in Natus and maybe a later video. Uh, let's check out Referrer though. So we can add um, HTTP headers like kind of how we're doing a keyword argument here in our get request um, in using the request module in Python. And we can do that with a dictionary data type. So I'm going to call this headers and in Python we'll just have a string for the key that we're trying to use, Referrer, and we'll give it a value that we want. So let's say, just to test it out, we'll be like, hey, um, subscribe, lols. <laughs> uh, shameless plug there. And let's pass that in to our, wow, I've been calling this variable repons for all of these videos. Holy cow, why didn't you guys tell me? <laughs> That's so funny, I gotta refix, gotta fix all those other scripts. All right, let's pass in this, this argument uh, as a keyword keyword variable and keyword argument. Um, headers equals headers here. I, that's probably confusing because I'm just using um, this variable named headers to refer to this keyword argument, but I promise it's doing what we want it to do, um, even though it sounds pretty silly and repetitive. Now let's run this script and see what happens. Um, checking out the response, it says access disallowed. You're visiting from subscribe lols. Okay, so that clearly did work. Um, well, authorized users should only come from this string, Natus5, the Natus5 URL. So let's use that as the value for our referrer header. Paste that right here. And now we can run this script. Check out the response. It says, awesome, access granted. The password for Natus5 is this. Let's totally steal that. And use that for our regular expressions. Scraper. Do we get the password that we want? We do. Perfect. All right. Um, let's go ahead and save this. This is the correct Natus 4 script. Now let's create a new one for Natus 5, changing the um, changing the username and the password. We probably don't need these headers anymore. Um, so let's just go ahead and create a new line where we aren't passing those in. And we don't need to see the 
password, we just want to see the content because we are making a new request to jump into this next level. Let's run the script. It says, access disallowed. You are not logged in. Hmm. Okay. Um, that might be working with cookies, right? Um, typically, if you want to log into a website or a web application, they store your login in, in a cookie or say that you are authenticated with a cookie. So let's check out what we can see with our cookies. Um, since we're making a standalone request with requests.get, we probably won't keep track of cookies in an easy way. All we're doing is a single request here. It's not keeping our, our session or our cookies alive in repeated connections. So let's actually move to a new object, uh, a session, and that can be recre created with just a request module, request session, and that will return an object for us that we can work with and create other um, create other requests with that keep their state or they keep the session that they're working with. You can see it actually returned out here. Okay, it is a session object. Oh, I printed it twice. I'm a fool. So, okay, now we can make requests with that, not using just the request module as the scope. We can say um, response equals session.get or the name of our object, what we created here. So now we can still get the same content and everything back, but now we're using the request object or the session object for us. Cool. So the same response we'd seen before, but now that we have a session object, we can check out what our session cookies are after we view this web page, because this web page probably set a cookie for us. Let's print out session, and the variable that we want to check out to see what cookies have been set for us is just cookies. And again, if you don't know any of this stuff or you aren't familiar with the syntax, you can just go and check out the documentation on um, the requests online website. It kind of goes through in the quick start how you can move into some cookies here. I just control F for cookies, um, and it will go through an example here. Oh, I guess it does set... Um, it does, it, does, it does store cookies in this um, response object. Cool, good to know. I guess for moving on, we can uh, keep the session variable, session object. Let's try it, I guess. When we run the script, we can check out what cookies we have here. Um, sessions is not a thing. We do want session, okay, cool. So now we have a new object, a request cookie jar. And we can see this cookie logged in is set to zero. So we can index this kind of just like a, a dictionary here. We can say logged in just like that. And you can see it's set to zero. If we set that to one, that will, I don't know, get a, get, her, get us logged in. Maybe they get us the, that'll get us the password. So since cookies also work like headers, in that they um, use a dictionary data type in Python, we can say uh, a new dictionary object, a new dictionary variable, cookies equals the syntax for uh, a dictionary with the key being logged in, and we'll set the password, we'll set the value to, to one. Uh, and I'm using that as a string here because all of that stuff that when it makes connection to a website has to be um, a string. So, now we can use the same get function we've been using before, but we can pass in cookies equals cookies, kind of just like we did earlier with headers equals headers, and that will pass that dictionary along through our, our get request. So now we can totally check out what the content is, and we're in. Easy as that. Access granted. The password for NATA 6 is this stuff. So I want to just drive this point home here. If we were to check out, again, session.cookies, you can see, okay, now the request cookie jar has the cookie logged in set to 1 because we've set that um, with our request. And the web server just must be testing what the value of that cookie is, and it's letting us move. So in the content that we're getting as our response, we can give this string to our 
we'll take the div with it too. Give that to our regular expression, hunter. And let's see what went wrong here. Anything? Nothing. Cool. We got the password. So let's go ahead and save this script. This will remain as our Natus 5 script, but we want to create a new Natus 6 script with updating the username and giving it the um, the new password here. We don't need to pass in the cookies anymore. At least we don't think we do. So we can take that out of the get request. And we should be ready to move on for uh, the next level once we get moving in. I'll, I'll actually end this video now because um, I think it's gone on for long enough. But I hope you guys are enjoying these again. Uh, hopefully the style isn't too bad and you're showcasing some, some cool things to do in Sublime Text and Python and running through these Natus levels. So thanks again, guys. I'll see you in a later video.